I'm Hope McCall and welcome to episode 14 of the Radio Control Show, sponsored by Hobbytown USA. There's a popular misconception that rock crawling can be a little too slow, especially when you're a racer at heart. Well, not anymore. There's a new twist on rock crawling called rock racing, and Kevin Hitmansky built a tricked out rock racer for RC Rock Crawler Special Issue. This issue is packed with sick custom builds, how-to articles, a body guide, driving tips, and so much more. For a copy of the Radio Control Rock Crawler, head to your local hobby shop, newsstand, or rcstore.com. At the recent Warbirds Over Delaware event, Jerry Yarish talked to expert builder and pilot Larry Ellis. They discussed Larry's newest project, an AT6 Texan he built from enlarged Nick Zeroli plants. Take a look. Hey, Hi, how are you, Jerry? I'm good. This uh, model here is a, like you said, an AT6 Texan. Uh, it's quarter scale. It's from a originally a set of Zeroli plans which are at one-fifth scale, and I took those plans and blow, blew them up to one-quarter scale. And that increases the wingspan to 130 inches. Uh, it's an all-wood construction, fiberglass finish with acrylic enamel paint. The engine on it is an RCS five-cylinder radial. It uh, has retractable gear, obviously, and a smoke system on it. Flies very well. And uh, we're having a lot of fun down here in Delaware with it. Very good. How much does it weigh? Uh, 53 pounds. 53. 53. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Have a good day. Okay, Jerry. Rock crawling is now officially a worldwide phenomenon. Proline Racing has teamed up with US RCCA to bring the first ever rock crawling world championship. The history-making event will take place in Southern California this August 26th to 30th. You can bet we'll be there to bring you all the action. For more info about this exciting championship, head to the RadioControlZone.com. With the mega success of the Transformers movies, it was only a matter of time before this phenomenon hit RC. As far as vehicles go, school buses are generally thought of to be, well, kind of lame. But wait until you see what looks to be just another school bus transform into an airplane and take off. This awesome transforming school bus took our friends at RC Superpowers 14 prototypes and two years to make. When it comes to building off-road RC tracks, there's no one better than the dirt's Joey Christensen. Joey's unbelievable tracks contain gnarly jumps, rhythm sections, and seamless flow. In this first installment of How to Build a Better Track, Joey walks us through some tips for setting up the track's borders. Here's three helpful tips for you and your track. When it comes to piping in the track, and you're piping over the top of a jump, or these moguls, for example, you wanna make sure that you never put the seams of the pipes where they connect on the very top of any, uh, any jump or mogul. They tend to take a lot of abuse, the cars land on them a bunch, and they end up popping open, and then you have to stop and fix it and take it to hassle. So make sure that the seam is down here at the lower part, and that way you can bend over the top. Another helpful tip is when you're putting stakes in, you wanna make sure that the pipe stays attached to the ground and not come up anywhere. Make sure that when you pipe, track that you stake where the ground touches the pipe. You don't want to put it where you can put your hand underneath. Always put the stakes in where the ground and the pipe are touching. Follow me over here. Another third tip. Whenever you're piping over the top of a, of a jump, right here, make sure that you bend that pipe. Take it up off the ground, find out where it's going to be the angle, bend it, and make it so it's pliable over the top of the jump, nail it at the bottom, and it'll never come undone. For more of Joey and his track building skills, head to rccaraction.com. Stay tuned in to the hottest races and events in RC with the new event calendar at rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com. These event calendars give you all the necessary info, including dates, website information, and the location of all the big races and events. If you have a race, series, or event you want to promote, simply click on the link at the top of the page. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. Remember to head to your local newsstand for the September issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check us out at rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered in this week's show. I'm Hope McCall, and we'll see you next time. Remember, you can get your hands on most of the cool products you see here on the show the same way we do, by visiting your local Hobbytown USA. Peace. <laughs> Octodrive Electronic Transmission Control. Cool back there.